today I'm filming the most exciting video of the year and that is my Briarfest haul which stands about as tall as me sitting down. I'm representing with my Briar merch that I got because I volunteered my time for Briarfest. I have a surprise horse in one of these boxes so that's been killing me to know which one I got and also there's like variations for all the special runs so let's get started. So we're gonna start with the smallest one and we're gonna go down to the biggest one. This is the first one. Thing of paper, small box, horse in like one layer of barely bubble wrap on the bottom. <laughs> He's really cool, super cool dude. Do I have to do like a makeup tutorial where you put your hand up? Um, there's a lot of variation of these guys and what they kind of turned out as and this one is super sweet. This is my first horse on this mold as well, which is really exciting. So this is like not really a Briarfest related package, but it just came during the same time as all the other Briarfest stuff. So I thought I would add it to this haul. So this is Julian, one of Briar's like really awesome Bay Tobiano, like really awesome, even though he's a classic. My first Briar ever is the classic Arabian Stallion. <laughs> to have like a nicer paint job on that same mold is really awesome. There has been a couple classics that have been catching my attention recently. This was a collector, a special edition uh, Lionel. It's pretty fun. He's glossy, which I'm starting to find more glossies that I enjoy a little bit, and this was one of them. And I'll show you this guy up close as well. So he's really cool. Next, this is a very special box. This was one of the only things that I bought during Briarfest weekend. I also bought some stuff from Kylie Parks, but that won't be arriving until like December because that's how it goes. But this is from Raven Maddox. So she includes a little cute note says you're awesome and her stickers and Raven is notorious for including candy in her in her packages what they smell like smooth cast so this is the uh, medallion it's a wildy so she was basing them off of Canadian horses and this one is the one of the trio so the three of them would make like a maple leaf but I really just liked him and I probably will paint him and sell him. This is questionable though because this is so sweet. Like that is so cool. It's like a scenescape. Like I wish I almost got a second one because that's crazy. And it's it's freestanding so it'll stand on its own. It doesn't need like a, a pedestal. So that's going to be a hard thing to get rid of because that is like so epic. Okay. So the most exciting boxes are these two because these are my Briarfest special ones. I think this is the good one, so we're going to save it for last. And we're going to open the lesser of two evils first. There she is! Of course, a different color magnet. So this is Dinesh's Northern Temptus. This is a celebration horse named Danny. This is definitely a model that I wanted and she came with this uh, magnet from Briar. So if I wasn't going to participate in Briarfest, I would definitely be tracking this girl down because she is like way too cool. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Okay, see what we got. <laughs> it's so fun. So pink bag is really the craziest part of this. I bought this and I'm not sure I feel about it. I feel like it's kind of actually ugly. Pretty ugly actually. <laughs> this is another classic impulse buy. Uh, so this is, I think his name is Favreal. Kind of ugly, but kind of cool in a way too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what his fate is. Then there is another magnet. And this is a uh, reverend. And it wasn't 100% when I saw this guy originally online, but in person, he's actually pretty sweet. He's a lot richer than I thought he would be. In the face. I'm most excited honestly for this. <laughs> 741 out of 2500 pieces. This is the little plush 
I think his name was Pal's Palette, and I just had to have him because he's got like my signature paint splatters on his butt. So he's an Appaloosa paint splatter, and he has like a palette there. But he's actually like really soft. Super cute. I don't usually go for the plush, but I just had to have that with the paint splatters because that's like way too cool. This is the pink bag, but we're gonna start with this one. Is it blue or is it gray? I think it's gray. <laughs> That's good. I actually did want the gray one, so I was hoping that it wasn't. My heart is beating very fast because I'm very anxious about this. Because if it's the one that I don't want, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. So this is Ansel, and it's on the Troubadour mold, sculpted by Kylie Parks. I was really hoping to get this one. This was one of the only special runs that I really wanted from this year. And it's just a really cool color. He's got a lot of, like, flecking going through his body. The infamous pink bag that you can't see through. <laughs> I'm scared. I have no idea. I'm so scared. <laughs> you're going to be able to see which one it is through the bubble wrap. Which one is it, guys? For sure certain I was gonna get the crappy one. Oh, but this one is so sweet. So this is the Seven Arts Surprise, and this is exactly the one that I wanted in matte. Really cool horse. They just did a really good job of the paint, and immediately, like out of all of them, this was the one that I had picked as the one that I wanted. Um, I do want to track down the Pintalusa and possibly the Splash, but I'm not like dead set on those. I was dead set on this one. They've just done a really good job of the patterning. Like, he's got really cool pattern happening. Success! Thanks so much for watching and uh, hope everybody had a great Briar Fest. Uh, Briar did a really good job despite all of the chaos that pursued it. So.